Okay, this is homesteading Northwest Florida, and we managed to get the steel side of the compression fitting on. And here's the new head, which those parts need to be removed, but I didn't want to get any dirt in there in the meantime. Uh, hence the pipe cleaner from before. But it takes a half inch wrench and a 9 16 wrench to tighten this baby and we'll see if we get how it works here I've never used compression fittings or a nylon to steel but you know they sure had this on here this end was just ridiculous you know the way they had it it was not not user serviceable Maybe if you went to the junkyard and got an entire, but the wrong part is not, the original part is discontinued, so I did order the wrong part, which is a Nissan 17270, and it's on here now, hopefully it'll clear this fuel tank here with the arch of it. I did bend it with a hair dryer, and I made some marks here of where it needs to be, actually and uh it at heating it it did get a little kink in it so this nylon stuff is no picnic this nylon stuff wants to kink it wants to do different things but i feel better with this on here uh you know than i did the original one which was pretty mangled up here and there's no cover on my I know somebody was in here mangling around. So we'll see how this all comes together. I hope this doesn't rattle. I could have, I was trying to bend it more up like this, and it just, this nylon stuff is really something. I have to get it to the, exactly the right temperature. That's what it is. Like exactly right. So it's on here, and we'll see how it works. All right. Thanks for watching.